Hey everybody, it's Positive Bluebird. I have a Throwback Thursday story for you, and it's kind of funny. When my son was born in 2001, and he was about two or three months old, I got super excited to take him on his first little road trip while my husband was working. I owned, I want to say it was an 84 Chrysler LeBaron convertible with wood siding. And if you've ever seen the movie, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with John Candy, and, oh my gosh, I can't think of his name, Billy Crystal. Okay, look that movie up. I owned that exact car. No joke. So my son's car seat was barely able to fit on the very small, narrow seat in the back. As we were driving to Walmart, I got a little lost. Didn't drive very often, did I? <laughs> um, plus we had moved to Lakewood and bought a condo, so I wasn't familiar with that area. So I thought I was taking Wadsworth Boulevard, but instead I was taking some other road. I don't know the road. <laughs> and ended up in the mountains. I said to myself, Stay calm. Don't panic. You've got this. I believe I was in Morrison. Beautiful up there, by the way. I turned around, calmly brought myself back, found the Walmart that I was looking for, sat in the parking lot, got the baby all ready, and put him in the grocery cart with his uh, car seat carrier. And as I got into Walmart, I was on the makeup aisle. This after I've already been in Walmart for about 20 minutes. On the makeup aisle, I did a double take where the mirrors were. I couldn't figure out why people were staring at me. Well, I forgot to do one of my eyebrows. I also had some tissue on my face, yes, from acne, and I was roaming around Walmart like that. One eyebrow, tissue on my face, pretty gross. Even good looking guys were giving me that look, and I thought to myself, well normally people stare at me in a positive way. Not this time. They were freaked out and I couldn't figure it out. And so finally, when I saw that mirror and I happened to be on the makeup aisle, I figured, you know what? I need new makeup anyway. So I opened the eyebrow pencil and drew in the other eyebrow. Took the makeup concealer, put that on top of my skin, a little bit of powder. We were good to go. Nobody saw. It was all good. There was another time where my first husband and I, he's the father of my son, our son. Um, I have to be careful because, you know, you can't say my, you have to say our. Anyway, the father of our son, when we were together, our son was just maybe, I don't know, eight months old, nine months old. And we went to the sea aquarium and... I think it was the Fish Aquarium, Sea Aquarium of Denver, one of those. Well, silly me, I forgot to pack diapers in the diaper bag. I packed everything else, but I got distracted like I normally do. But I was lucky that I had wide, long maxi pads. Yes, I did. So we used that and stuck that on our child pulled those little britches up and called it a day. <sniffs> Worked. I wasn't going to go and ask people for a diaper when their child was like two or three years old when I have a, a little baby. So the maxi pad worked fine. He doesn't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> let me think here. Um, another incident was I was working at the Olive Garden Highlands Ranch before my son was born. And there was an elderly woman who was coming out of the bathroom. And 
Not only did she have toilet paper sticking out from underneath her pant leg, she also had the seat cushion paper. You know, the, the not seat cushion, the toilet seat paper, um, whatever, the seat protector. She had that hanging out from the top part of her pants. So as she's making her way to the bar, I was trying to call her and stop her, but she couldn't hear me because of all the noise. I just quickly grabbed that, yanked it like this and threw it behind me. <whistles> then I quickly stepped on the toilet tissue on the floor and it came out. I mean, I just put the gloves on, picked everything up, threw it away and she never even knew. Later that night, I was on the podium. We were on a huge wait. And I was taking names. And a customer came in and she said at the podium, do not move. And I was like, what is this, a hold up? She said, don't move. But she was looking up at me like this. I looked up and I went, oh, hell no. Took my hand and went, whack. It was a giant spider hanging on the web. What was I supposed to do? It was my first reaction. So I whack it, she dodges it, I dodge it, it smacks another employee in the face, he freaks out, spills a glass of wine, I was like, oh my god, it was crazy. It was, it was funny, but it was crazy. We used to get centipedes too, because we were um, kind of on the outskirts of County Line Road and Highlands Ranch, and it was kind of like newly developed um, flatlands area out there, so they were building a lot of really nice huge mansion homes so we would get a lot of centipedes and scorpions and just creepy crawlies all over the place <laughs> that that olive garden is still sitting there by the way um but yeah it's not the first time we've had spider incidences one fell i guess from the woodwork the lattice work above and landed in this lady's um little what do you call those a little it's like a boat dish of Alfredo sauce and it landed right in there when she was getting ready to dip her breadstick. It was horrifying. <sighs> yeah. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of another funny story. This one's not so funny. The chilies across the street from where I used to work actually burned down last year. It was really sad. There were a bunch of construction workers on the roof and being ridiculous, they were trying to fix the roof and they had like heating tools, I guess, and um, torches. And you don't want to do that when the kitchen down below and the gas oven is on. So unfortunately, the chilies exploded. Well, it didn't explode, explode. You know what I mean. There were no fatalities. People went running out. And unfortunately, I had to see my old Chili's restaurant burn to the ground because of somebody's mishap. I mean, that's really sad. That was just somebody that wasn't even thinking straight. So, um, did you guys ever go to what we called the dumps back in the 70s or the early 80s when you were little? Um, the dumps was you would have huge barrels like metal barrels in your backyard and leaf bags and you would just fill them with trash and then your parents would just take them out of the trash barrel and pile them up in the backyard <laughs> and then when it was time to go to the dumps you would pick up trash bags with your parents and throw them in the back of the truck and take them to the dumps and now we call them landfills, but anyway, we got excited to go to the dumps. I don't know why. It really smelled bad, but we just got excited because we got to ride in the back of the truck. Nowadays, it's illegal, so. Anyway, guys, that is my Throwback Thursday. I hope you guys have an awesome one. Stay true to yourself. Be happy. Drama-free as much as you can, guys. Just try to live it up and live life. Peace out and stay positive.